Okay, I'm just gonna start this by saying, don't be mean, be nice. Because it's cool to be nice. But just because you go out of your way to be nice, doesn't always mean you'll be a good guy in someone else's story. Hey, what are you picking up all my stuff for? Well, I saw you drop it. I thought maybe I could give you a hand. No, no, no. You're trying to steal from me. <gasps> You're trying to take advantage of me. Ma'am, I'm just trying to help you pick up your stuff. Oh, so now you're gonna gaslight me too? You know what, lady? Oh. You can go and help yourself! <laughs> Yo! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Orange Guy Animations. And some people make bad decisions. And these decisions usually don't end well for all parties involved. But in this story I'm about to tell you, I enjoyed watching this idiot suffer from his actions. But you know what I would enjoy more is if you check out OJ Drip Shop, where you can get some cool orange guy merch. So make sure you check out OJDripShop.com, link in the description and pinned comment. But let's get back into the origins of my villain art. Okay, so this took place senior year of high school. And in one of my classes, we were given a group project. So it was one of those times where the teacher was like, Okay, everyone, I'm going to be super cool and let you pick your groups. So of course, everybody was super excited. But me being an introvert, I knew absolutely nobody in that class. So I was just sitting there trying to avoid eye contact with the teacher, and hopefully she'd let me work by myself. But of course she noticed me and was like, Orange guy, if you don't have a group already, you can work with the boys in the back. Hmm? So we were tasked with making a game show like presentation where half of the group were techies and they were responsible for making the slideshow and the other half of the group were actors and they were responsible for acting out the actual game show for everyone in the class. It's a pretty cool presentation idea, except for the fact that these fools were still goofing off. And I had to take everybody's role. No! And I knew these guys weren't gonna do anything because I mean, what the freak is this dude doing? He really thinks that he's him. Wait, no, wait, what? But oh, best believe, I was not gonna let this slide so easily. So I ended up going home to make the slideshow and write the entire script myself. And on the day of the presentation, I gave the other actor the script and told him, Hey man, all you gotta do is memorize your parts. Wait a minute. Orange guy, you still went and did all the work. I thought you said you weren't letting them get off that easy. Trust me, they're not getting away with anything. These dudes can't take anything serious. And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna memorize my entire script in the five minutes we have before presentations start. I mean, he could have helped me with writing knowing that he's an actor too, but he wanted to goof off. And now his actions are starting to come back to him. And I had a plan. Because if you remember, this was high school where everyone is so pressed about their social status. And this little goober, he was up there, but not for long. Because I was about to cook this kid in front of everybody when he got his parts wrong. And I was gonna enjoy watching him suffer for making me do this entire project myself. I gave the other actor in our group the script that I made entirely myself in one night. And this kid looked terrified. He looked at that script and knew there was absolutely no way he was memorizing all of that in five minutes. No, 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 no. But it was okay because he 
was about to learn a lesson. So the teacher was setting up for everyone's game show presentation. And the class was as it usually is on a presentation day. Some kids are super confident and ready to present. And some kids are questioning if they're gonna pass the class after this assignment because they made a terrible decision in not participating in their group assignment. For me though, I was big chilling. Because I was the one who made the slideshow. I was the one who wrote the script. So I knew everything I needed to do and was ready to present. And on top of that, I get to humiliate an idiot for being a terrible group member? Oh yeah, today's a good day. So the first couple groups went and presented, and they actually did pretty good. Some of them even brought costumes. But then it was our turn to present. And these dudes were not ready at all. Not to mention that one of our group members didn't even show up on presentation day. So these two were even more cooked than before. But oh well, seems the show must go on. So in our group, or at least what was left of it, we still had both of our actors. And this guy too, but he was useless. All he was gonna do was turn off the lights. Are you serious, my brother? But the actors were actually doing the presentation. And the popular kid was gonna be the guest, and I was gonna be the host, of our game show, which means I'm gonna be the one who has to start our presentation. And bro, I had the most fire opening ever, but I don't exactly remember what I said. Oh my God. But after whatever I said, I had the whole class applauding. But oh, the show hasn't even started. Thank you everyone, but I wanna introduce you to our guest, some guy who has something to do with this topic of the project, but I don't remember what it was, so I'm gonna leave it as this. Man, let me tell you, it is great to have you on the show. Tell the crowd, how's things treating you, man? Um, uh, things are going good. And right after he said that, I knew I had him right where I wanted him. Because just yesterday, he was so loud and outgoing when he should have been working on the project. But now he's all shy and nervous. Oh, this is gonna be good. Well, that's enough chit chat. Let's get into the actual game show. All right, man, first question. What is the Pythagorean theorem? And everyone was met with silence, just as expected. You all right there, buddy? Looks like he's a bit stage fright. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it possible you actually don't know the answer? That's crazy. <gasps> yeah, oh my gosh, is he stupid or something? Not. You know, you can go ahead and read off the script if you really can't memorize your lines. But I hope you know that we're about to fail this project. All because of you. Okay, everyone, I think our group here is ready to wrap up their presentation. Bro, I went off on that kid. As soon as he got silent after I asked the first question, oh, he was met with no mercy. Everybody in that class was talking about him, and this fool was getting red from embarrassment. And oh, he earned every second of that embarrassment. And the craziest part? I still got a good grade because I ended up having to go to the teacher and explain that I was the one who did everything while these goobers were just goofing off in the background. And the teacher was like, yeah, I could tell and it will definitely reflect in their grade, but your grade will be fine. Moral of the story, can't nobody mess with your boy. That's why he's the goat. The goat. Moral of the story, don't goof around when you should be working, especially if it's in a group project, because that's not fair to your group members. And if your group members happen to be a Giga Chad Storytime animator whose favorite color happens to be orange, it definitely won't end well for you. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy and cards orange guy. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, full rendition of uh, of that story where I cooked that kid in front of everybody, man. 
Uh, if you've seen it before, you've seen the parts before, thanks for watching all the way through again. I'm sorry for like, I don't want you guys to think I'm like doing this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just stop there, bro. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, I've There's a bunch going on right now. Um, but I got an anime, I got the second part to last week's video. I'm in the middle of it, so I'm gonna make sure I get it good for you guys. Uh, sorry for being late with this little project here. Uh, I just gotta get on the grind, man. Sorry about, uh, all that. Hopefully YouTube shows this video to everybody and then I can, like, you know, be happy to, to make YouTube videos again. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, d I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Check out OJ Drip Shop. Nobody's gone over there for a minute. Uh, this end card's getting too long. I'm, I'm a lock in, guys. I'm gonna get you a fire video next week. This video is pretty funny too, though, but y you know what I mean. Subscribe as well. Do that. Share the video. YouTube, please stop being mean to me. All right, bye. Ah! <laughs>